Libra, welcome to your monthly intuitive energy reading. This is Akia from December's Divine 555. To any of my December warriors, welcome back. To any new viewers, welcome to my channel. You are so welcome here. I'm sending you peace, love, and an abundance of truth always. Okay, guys, any information that you need in terms of the channel, updates, um, information on personal readings, etc., you will find in the description below. I'd like to thank everyone for your love, support, your comments, your subscribes, um, your interaction with each other, okay? It means a great deal, and I'm sending you all many, many, many blessings. This is an intuitive energy reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, remember guys, we're dealing with energy here in terms of masculine and feminine energies. We all have masculine and feminine energies within us. Don't get too caught up on gender. Feel free to reverse the roles. I don't date my readings. Whenever you come across this reading, I feel like there will be a message in it for you. If it doesn't resonate, then take what does and let the rest ride. Come back at a later date, a later time, and um, check out other signs as well. I do call out signs in my readings. It does help in a very general reading um, to help one connect with their specific story line um there will be a description and there will be a link in the description um where you can look into finding out your natal chart placements if you're not familiar with them already okay so i'm going to quickly go into some meditative energy that i picked up on for you guys libra and oh yeah, also check the community board because there will be some um, new information coming in about changes to the channel um, coming within the next month or two. Um, changes in the channel, introduction to Patreon slash Vimeo, etc. And that is about it. Yeah, so meditative energy is energy I pick up on. Um, it could be your energy, it could be energy of anyone around you in your energy field, etc. Always come back to the reading, check out the um, meditative energy. A lot of times you will find warnings, predictions, omens, etc. in that section. Um, what else? So yeah, um, after we do the meditative energy, the predictions, warnings, etc., we're going to get into your oracle messages. I'm going to do uh, two sets of spreads of three cards. The first row will um, be what's going on with you, okay? Um, the second row will be um, whoever's coming through for you, um, how they're feeling about you, their intentions. But also feel free to reverse the roles however the reading resonates for you. If it's resonating, it's resonating. You live your life so you know exactly how the roles fit into your storyline. Also, cross watchers, you're very welcome. So, you know, if you are watching this reading to get information on a Libra, you may feel as though I'm talking directly to you or that I'm picking up on your energy and that very well may be the case. Um, sometimes as a cross watcher, um, as you're listening to the reading, you literally could be just hearing the storyline as it is for that particular sign. Or like I said, you could feel as though I am literally picking up on your energy. Just take it how it resonates um, and go from there. Now, Libra, for you guys, I'm picking up on the energy. Very strong, three different signs. Cancer, Aries, and of course, Libra heavily. This is your energy, so um, you could be dealing with another Libra, or you could be dealing with some type of injustice or the legal system, and of course, some type of karmic justice or divine justice. But what I'm picking up on is that there is someone who is gaining some enlightenment in terms of a period of indecision, confusion, the inability to move forward, um, some type of stagnancy in travel or within 
an organization. Um, someone is definitely getting enlightenment or truth is coming out on some type of confusion surrounding a promotion or someone being able to move forward in a company, business, or just physically. There could be some information about some inappropriate behavior happening within a company where there has been drug abuse or some type of misuse of power. Um, I'm taking it though as maybe sexual harassment or inappropriate a sexual relationship um, within an, a company or organization um, that has been found out. Um, someone was careless with how the facts or how the communication played out in the situation. Um, someone could have definitely um, been manipulated emotionally. Someone could be moving away from a situation due to this investigation and being offered um what i'm getting is that this situation this investigation into this organization is going to allow for someone to it's going to be the catalyst for someone to um really step into their power or someone's going to possibly be promoted or transferring to a different position or location that's going to be even more beneficial financially, okay? Um, I'm also picking up on the energy of a family situation that's chaotic. A lot of confusion going on within a family. Now also getting that within the past couple of months, or anywhere from a month, three weeks, three to five weeks to two months, there may have been a loss in a family or um, some type of um, grief due to a very um, spiritual connection being lost. Um, this could definitely be um, a grandparent or someone who affects many, many people in a family. Um, there may have been a passing and there's been a lot of um, sadness and conflict and um, back and forth um, within a family and the loss of um, this important family member has um, cause a lot of um, confusion and there's been secrets that have been divulged there could be some type of dispute going on that revolves around money or inheritance um, someone could be coming back from the military or leaving school or traveling um, for a funeral or traveling to come home to handle some important um, matters in regards to um, a family or keeping traditions. But um, 
there's definitely some type of disconnection, um, disharmony within the family, some imbalance. Um, there's been a bit of a struggle. Some I'm dealing. I'm feeling the energy of um, it's, it's taking a lot of strain to hold. Someone is being very strong, trying to hold a family together or an organization together, because there's a lot of um, conflict within this situation. But there is light being shed on a situation, on some some type of corrupt behaviors. But um, there is this energy of a cycle being ended and a lot of uh, push, pushing forward towards some type of truth and balance, okay? So that's what I'm getting for you guys. Libra, okay? So now we're going to get into your oracles and then we're going to do um, your spreads, okay? So um, we're going to start with our two oracles. We have Live Your Soul and Not a Roll. And then from the um, Earth Magic, we have Ceremony, um, Invocation. So we are going to start with this uh, Ceremony card to see what is going on for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, Ceremony. So, Libra, in this picture, it looks like there's someone who is, this kind of goes in line with possibly, you know, someone just praying um, in some type of grief, um, talking to someone who's passed, a late family member. Um, this could also be someone um, possibly um, at an altar, doing some type of um, ritual, but let's get into um, this oracle. Invocation. It is in sacred ceremony that we have one of the greatest opportunities to experience communion with Source. Make sure the volume is okay. One where the perceived dualities of both heaven and earth merge into an experience of the divine. Through the use of sacred pieces that have become imbued with spiritual significance, we bring forth ceremony catalyzed by clear intention and preparation. Sacred ceremony is prayer and action. In this image, a woman kneels before an altar where a number of crystals are placed, light emanating from her hands. We see incense burning. Snake spirit rests nearby. And various ethereal beings appear in wispy shrouds of light around her head. All the while, the tapestry upon which she sits appears to be on fire. symbolizing the fiery passion brought on by the intense focus of spirit that has been evoked for the ceremony. Calling spirit forth in this way facilitates a direct and heartfelt sense of related, relatedness to source. Whether through indifference, depression, life crisis, or any other manifestation of mental, emotional, or physical blockages, you have drifted from the intimacy with spirit for which you yearn. It is important to do what you can to regain an experience of spiritual power. That is contained within you and all around you do so by conducting a ceremony, one that involves not only spirit, but also material objects you consider sacred. Wow, okay. 
So this definitely speaks of some type of uh, reconnection with spirit, um, reconnecting with a lost loved one, reconnecting with yourself, your higher self, but a need uh, to reconnect with source or to create an altar or save space um, to grieve or to connect with light, okay? Okay, so ceremony, invocation, and your bottom of the deck, we have wake up call for your other oracle, okay? So um, this could definitely be a period of some type of enlightenment. Live your soul and not a role. Live your soul and not a role. Number 62, breaking down to an eight, which speaks of finding balance, equilibrium, it could be mirroring or some type of um, twin flame connection. Possible abundance, a transformation happening, okay? Live your soul and not a role. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hmm. There's actually a lot going on in this card. Anything could be really happening in this card. It's a lot going on. You even have some type of um, mannequin without a head in this picture. Someone is really focused, okay, on manifesting something here. Okay, so we'll leave this up so that you guys can meditate on this. This energy of this picture, of this oracle, while we read Live Your Soul, Not a Roll. It says, be wary of pigeon holding. Beware, um, be wary of pigeon holding yourself into certain roles, false identities, and fixed behaviors such as mother, father, boss, or worse, failure. These roles can leave you limited and unable to connect with and express your true nature. Pre present struggles with others can be attributed to falling under the spell of some type of role playing that does not allow your true spirit to shine and prevents genuine connection with others to occur. Your divine energy is calling you to connect with others in an authentic and available soul-to-soul -soul way, recognizing the things you share in common and avoid false role-to-role -role interactions that create distance and misunderstanding. Your divine invitation, allow your divine energy to flow freely, drop your defenses and pretenses and relax your fears. You are a beautiful and bright soul. Let others enjoy the real you. They will love you. Okay. Those are your oracles. And we're going to go ahead and get into your reading. Okay. All knowing source, divine spirit. Angels, Michael, Gabriel. Jeremiah. Sandalfon.
Guardian Angel, no Ezekiel from the Ninth Dimension. Senate Masters, five being above, and Ancestors, five being above, allow me to be the channel to bring forth truthful, clear, and precise messages for the collective. Allow me to tap into the energy of Libra, Sun, Rising, and Venus. Bring forth the most important and healing messages for those who need them the most. Thank you so much. Can we get one card that represents Libra, Sun, Rising, and Venus? Overall energy for this reading. Page of Swords, bottom of the deck, we have the Devil, okay, Capricorn energy, um, but this is in reverse, so this does represent um, detaching, um, releasing attachments, this represents um, freedom, um, seeking freedom, seeking freedom from the ties that bind, from fears, from lack, um, the Devil in reverse could represent some type of... Um, loss from employment. Um, this definitely does represent breaking away from an organization, um, freeing yourself, oneself from a contract of some sort. Um, this definitely represents um, rehab, um, someone breaking free of some type of addiction, obsession, but ultimately this is um, seeking freedom, okay? Your overall energy for the reading is Page of Swords in reverse. So this represents um, possible uh, spying, investigation, um, page of swords in reverse represents um, negative um, communication, harsh communication. Um, someone definitely uh, feeling weak, unable to Move forward, annoyance, um, irritability, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. What's going on with Libra? Someone rising in Venus. What's going on with Libra? Someone rising in Venus. Three cards to see what's going on with Libra. Someone rising in Venus. cards please we have the emperor we have the nine of pentacles in reverse and we have the nine of wands in reverse Okay, Libra. Guys, like I said, always feel free to reverse the roles however they resonate with you. I always start with your energy up top, but um, there's nothing set in stone that this has to be you or your energy. Take it as it resonates. Um, what's going on with you, Libra? We have the Emperor here, so um, this speaks of power. This speaks of success, business, taking control of a situation. Um, Aries energy, divine masculine energy. You could have an Aries in your chart. But yeah, this definitely speaks of taking control. Fours, which is the number that represents um, the emperor, um, means stability, focused on stability during this period. Some type of power dynamic, okay? Um, this could have something to do with um, a father figure coming through. Yeah trying to bring balance, trying to bring some type of um, calm to chaos or a chaotic situation. This is protective energy, very protective, 
um, protecting a business, protecting an idea. Okay. And then we also have the Nine of Pentacles, okay, which is um, Virgo energy here coming into play. Virgo, Earth energy. It's in reverse, okay? So Nine of Pentacles in reverse speaks of some type of lack, okay? Um, materialism. Loss of money. Greed. A setback, okay? Overindulgence. So there could definitely be some type of... Um, business endeavor or um, organization that could be dealing with some type of lack or um, a bad investment. Some type of setback or loss within an organization or in a family. Libra, you could be definitely focused on protecting your assets after some type of um, Bad investment. Yeah, and then lastly, you have the Nine of Wands. Okay, so Nine of Wands speaks of something that has failed, um, something that um, has been halted, that is not able to move forward, come to fruition. Um, it speaks of paranoia, hesitation. So this definitely could be you, Libra. Um, wanting to protect your assets, wanting to protect your business, your family um, from some type of bad investment. This could be catching um, someone Catching a situation that could before it catching a situation in the beginning phases before it leads to um, a setback. This could speak of being very paranoid, okay about investing in someone or partnering with someone for fear of a loss or a bad investment. But because the Nine of Pentacles is in reverse with the Nine of Wands, we have two Nines Okay, two nines. Um, nines speak of some type of crisis, possibly. Um, especially with these two cards in reverse. You're standing up, ready to fight for your business or your family. Um, you're very protective right now. And... There's been some type of loss here something to do with finances or possible relationship and this has caused a great deal of stress okay um something is on halt okay and we're going to clarify this Okay, bottom of the deck, we have temperance. Um, yeah, so we definitely have Aries, Sag, Virgo, fire energy, as well as 
earth energy, divine masculine energy, and now we have Sag again with temperance in reverse. Bottom of the deck, there's definitely some type of competition going on here, confusion, um, interference. This could definitely be um, some type of inappropriate behavior that is throwing an organization or family off balance here with the temperance in reverse. Yeah, excess. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and clarify. Yeah, someone's definitely releasing themselves um, from a uh, partnership. Um, a lot of secrets. Can we clarify the uh, emperor? Six of pentacles, yeah. Uh, there is definitely no um, reciprocity here in this business, this um, family. Six of Pentacles is an imbalance, okay, in terms of um, give and take, um, equilibrium. There's a loss in finances here, maybe money laundering, um, a very bad investment. Yeah, there's definitely greed here. Someone's been investigated. Someone is being investigated about um, theft. If this is a relationship, then someone is um, not being honest about money here. Um, there's definitely a lawsuit involved here. Someone mistaking someone's kindness for weakness and a lot of greed, a lot of greed. But someone is standing tall, protecting their um, their assets here. But um, there has already been a loss in the situation. But I do feel the energy of someone trying to cut their losses and save what it is that they have left while working on removing this cancer, okay, from this business or from this family, okay? Wow, okay. We have the Hermit in reverse on the bottom of the deck, so um, this could have something to do with a Virgo, but definitely um, a very foolish choice, a very foolish um, partnership with someone that someone didn't trust, but there is uh, some depression here. Um, someone could be depressed about um, a business venture that they um, invested in that really created a setback and um, someone didn't investigate or do a background check in terms of this, this infiltration into this business or into this home or family. Um, someone didn't know someone as well as they thought they knew them. Okay. What is the Nine of Pentacles here? Okay. Okay. So, whether this is a business or a family, there's definitely um, some type of cruelty going on within a, a home or organization or a structure. Um, 
or a father figure, okay? Could be stepping into a situation um, where there's been some type of cruelty. Or abuse. Alcoholism. Um, someone could be losing their business, okay? Or someone could definitely be losing their home, the deed to their home. Or being evicted. Um, we have Aries energy here um, with the Four of Wands in reverse. The Four of Wands in reverse um, speaks of a transition. Okay, um, some type of change in one's stability coupled with the uh, Nine of Wands clarifying that. Um, this is a lot of loss here. Um, cruelty within a home or a business. And um, we have the Emperor again. Um, so it looks like with this energy of the Emperor again now in reverse here, we have the emperor upright with the six of pentacles. Okay, so someone may have been in a position of power, okay, within a business or within a twin flame connection because we have the four of wands here in reverse. So this could be speaking of a business or a family or even a divine connection. Um, someone misused their power here. Um, someone may have had some type of influence, but they lost it because the emperor went from being upright to in the reverse here. Um, because of some type of cruelty, theft, greed, selfishness, okay? Um, yeah, there was a loss here. A disconnection, a broken promise. Um, somehow, a situation turned quickly a plot twist happened here someone lost their power their influence their money um, this is almost like some type of instant karma here Emperor in reverse six of Pentacles someone had it all lost it all okay the Emperor um, upright turned into the Emperor in reverse um, this is um, someone possibly being emasculated in within a home within a marriage or a family um, the Emperor in reverse is some type of narcissism hot narcissism possibly manipulation um, someone feeling powerless surrounded by chaos avoiding um, a situation that's bad that's getting bad um, this is a lot of lack cruelty within a family within a business um, within some type of divine connection possibly a broken promises lack loss etc we have a lot of energy that things are are switching okay because bottom of the deck we have the nine of wands but we have the nine of wands in reverse here again so a lot of paranoia a lot of um lack failure defensiveness okay um, someone is hesitating um, in order someone is blocked okay blocked let's clarify the nine of uh, wands please in reverse nine of wands in reverse the six of rods the six of wands okay so libra there has been some type of plot twist um someone had it all lost it all emperor six of pentacles in reverse within a family relationship business twin flame connection um someone lost their influence their control Surrounded by greed, loss, defensiveness, broken promises, okay? Clarifying the Nine of Wands, 
we have the six of wands okay so we have this leo energy here um there is going to be relief of this situation okay for someone um there could be a leo coming in to help um save this business or to um help move things forward here this could definitely be you um moving past this um this setback um overcoming this loss and gaining the strength to really move forward To gain confidence to rebuild here someone is overcoming all of this loss this bad choice is bad investment yeah yeah someone came in infiltrated this business or um, this partnership, there was no give and take, there was a lot of greed, corruption, there was loss. Um, lies, deceit, broken promises, okay? And that um, a lot of tension within this organization this family this business okay and a lot of loss whether this was a, 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 a um, loss in the family or some type of family squabbling or family um, dispute regarding inheritance or an actual family business or an organization or a corporation or a twin flame connection or a relationship um, there has been a lot of mistrust here, um, blockages. But someone is coming out of this situation victorious. I do believe, Libra, this is you coming out of a very toxic situation. Okay, victorious in gaining the victory here. Um, it could involve a, a, a fire sign or a Leo, but someone is going to exit the situation victorious. Okay, getting the recognition that they deserve and... Um, Oh, wow. Okay. Moving forward. Aquarius energy here. So, um, this is very positive. Um, we have forward movement. Um, someone leaving behind. Very um, chaotic. Uh, cruel. Very lacking. Very toxic situation in regaining um, their strength and um really moving past a very chaotic situation and stepping back into their power uh moving on to um something very promising may not be very um sure about where you're going but you are heading toward some type of recognition a lot of effort, um, a lot of work to repair a very toxic situation, but there is forward movement here, and um, that looks very promising. Okay. coming through for Libra who's coming through for Libra how do they feel for Libra and what are their intentions and this is how the person that's coming through for you feels and their intentions 
This doesn't mean this is what they will do. It's just their intentions, okay? Who's coming through for Libra and what are their intentions? Who's coming through for Libra and what are their intentions? Okay. Okay, so who's coming through for you, Libra? We have the Two of Cups. Okay, so um, that's Cancer energy or water. We have the Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy or water. And we have the Queen of Wands, okay? Um, a feminine um, fire energy. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So this combination with the Two of Cups, Five of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. So... I see a very um, spiritual connection, um, a deeply, deeply spiritual connection coming through for you. Now, this um, person that's coming through for you um, could have differences from you. Um, they could live in a different um, part of the uh, country or out of the country. They could have a different religious background. They could have an age difference. They could have a religious difference. Um, but as you can see, um, this masculine is um, a human, okay, from land. And this um, mermaid feminine energy is obviously um, from the underworld. So I get that whoever's coming through for you is um, a very deeply, deeply spiritual, emotional, um, or divine connection here with the Two of Cups. Um, this person has very, very deep feelings. Um, there's a really deep attraction here um, or a very harmonic connection. Um, now, mind you, this could be three different people coming through for you, okay? A Cancer, a Taurus, or any of the water or earth elements or a fire sign, feminine energy here, but... Um, or this could be a combination of the same person, okay? Someone, a really highly spiritual connection, someone who is highly attracted to you, someone who um, has a really deep spiritual connection with you. The same person could feel disconnected from you in some way. There could be a separation. Um, this person could feel rejected by you, the five of pentacles. This person could be at a distance from you, could be suffering some type of loss. Um, um, this loss could be financial, moral, or spiritual. Um, this person also could um, definitely uh, be lacking in drive or passion with the Queen of Wands in reverse. This person could definitely be angry or jealous or um, definitely feeling some type of aggression in regards to you. Or this person could be dealing with a... Um, in a third party situation where they are connected to somebody who's very aggressive or angry or um, domineering. Um, but yeah, so. There's definitely a disconnection here, um, some type of separation. Um, this person could definitely be um, surrounded by some type of cruelty or anger or um someone just could just feel cold um neglected and um highly disconnected from or feeling trapped from being able to come forward toward this really uh deeply uh spiritual connection due to some to some type of outside party 
but let's clarify this. Yeah, um, this person could also be a fixed sign. We have the world here. Um, the fixed signs are Taurus, Scorpio, uh, Leo, Aquarius. Um, but the person that's coming through for you, um, is trying to end something or they're at the end of some type of cycle. They see you as some type of, of as their fulfillment. They want to travel toward you. Okay. You complete them. Or there could definitely be some type of uh, restriction keeping them from, from you. Okay. Okay. So let's clarify this energy that's coming through for you. Who's the two of cups? Who's the two of cups coming through for Libra? Yeah. Someone um, feels trapped in their mind, wherever they are. Um, they feel trapped from this connection. They feel bound. Um, there's some type of mental conflict. Um, we have Gemini energy here with the Eight of Swords, but um, someone cannot communicate with you. They are in isolation, um, possibly dealing with some type of mental um, instability. Someone could definitely be in prison. Um, Yeah, but they can't speak with you or they cannot um, get through to you. There's some type of blockage here, disappointment. Someone feels trapped, okay? Um, someone could definitely be in a marriage, um, an unhappy situation, or um, if this is like in terms of career or business, um, this definitely could be um, someone from that energy that was coming through for you earlier um, that is disconnected from a business partnership due to, due to, to some type of uh, de deceit um, investigation and someone is um, temporarily um, in prison or um, in jail awaiting some type of um, trial. Yeah, this definitely got some, something to do with um, a past life connection, um, a um, a family member. Someone is definitely having very nostalgic thoughts about you. Um, could be a Scorpio for sure. Um, someone is deeply in their mind um, about this connection. They're having very nostalgic thoughts. And um, someone could be... Uh, wishing they'd done things differently in terms of this business or this family or this um, partnership or um, divine connection here. Can we clarify the Five of Pentacles? Yeah, the person that's coming through for you um, feels manipulated. Um, possibly you are a Taurin, a Taurus, or a um, air sign, but there's definitely some type of manipulation going on in the situation um, as to why they cannot um, move forward with this connection um, or this business partnership or why that why there is this lack. Um, there's been a um, disconnection from the truth here, a lot of manipulation, cruelty, verbal abuse, um, missing information in terms of funds that have been stolen or lost um this could definitely be greed emotional manipulation within this family or this organization um a possible feminine air sign can have something to do with um someone um feeling cut off by this connection. This has some, something to do with uh, why this person is um, feeling uh, left out in the cold here, unable to move forward toward this um, highly spiritual connection 
or this business partnership um, manipulation in regards to this business this loss of money um, this um, restriction or this um, highly spiritual divine connection um, between um, this connection that is unconventional okay yeah yeah someone is trying to deal with a lot of betrayal um, entitlement it's in reverse the five of swords here um, Aquarian energy um, someone's trying to minimize their role um, in a situation where there was a lot of um, tension and uh, deceit thievery but someone wants forgiveness here someone um, if this is a like a legal battle someone is definitely um, looking for some type of lesser sentence if this is a partnership that someone is um, keeping this person from coming forward toward you um, someone is seeking some type of forgiveness but there's some manipulation going on here Aquarius Taurus earth air energy okay can we clarify the Queen of Wands who is the Queen of Wands in reverse Three of Wands in reverse very well may have something to do with trying to keep this connection impoverished, trying to keep this connection at a loss from being renewed because to clarify the Queen of Wands, we have uh, the Two of Cups in reverse. And the three of wands in reverse okay so that's cancerian energy as well as aries energy so i said in the beginning of your reading cancer aries and libra very very strong so um yeah there's definitely some feminine energy here um possibly a fire sign or it could be any sign embodying that um very aggressive a domineering energy but there's someone definitely who is um determined to um, kind of create some type of imbalance and keep a um, very spiritually uh, deeply deep connected um, partnership from forming creating um, some type of struggle or um, interference in this business or this family or this highly spiritual divine connection possibly twin flame connection um, someone's very disappointed um, possibly with a Queen of Wands or um, an Aries or a Cancerian because someone is definitely um, feeling impoverished or left out in the cold and blocked from this deep uh, connection here Libra um, the person that's coming through for you um, is highly frustrated immobile um, dealing with a lot of repressed emotions feeling disconnected from you um, this um, we have the three of rides so this definitely could speak of some type of third party situation here where they are surrounded by um, some energy that is um, a bit jealous, um, abusive. Um, there's some interference going on here for sure um, to keep someone disconnected from this, this two of cups connection here. And there is a lot of deceit some type of investigation going on, spying, um, and someone is definitely in their head about um, 
this this connection here someone is definitely seeking an opportunity to um, free themselves here from some type of insecurity or impoverished uh, um, situation okay um, yeah someone could definitely someone's health could be suffering due to a lot of mental um, and emotional stress but there's definitely um, some type of interference aggression and um, manipulation um, competition and stagnation going on here to um, keep this connection from uh, coming to pass okay so that is who is coming through for you and we're going to pull a card from the good tarot to just um, see how you can deal with these energies and bring it all together um, for some divine advice for you, Libra. Yeah, the four of fire. The four of fire. Okay, so this is what we are going to end your reading on, okay, from the divine four of fire or the four of wands, okay? So with all of this, energy of some type of instability within a home or structure or a business um, organization tension broken promises this is a beautiful card to end on because this is the divine saying that there is stability on the way recovery okay possibly even a reconnection of some type of um, divine connection um, balance within a family okay so we have the fourth earth I mean the fourth fire here um, beautiful. Okay, so the four fire. Your divine advice, potential outcome, a new creative phase, celebration, pleasure and harmony in relationships. Dancers have partners, singers have musicians. Helping them create sweet music. And I find others who are in sync with me and my desires. It's a time for celebrating friendships and all that others bring to my life. A time for revelry and relishing the pleasures of being in good company, making magic together with others is the focus at this time, okay? So it's about moving away from the past, reconnecting with your higher self, reconnecting with those who are in like-mindedness of you, um, Tapping into your creativity, rebuilding relationships, reunions, reconciliations, okay? Family and making magic together. Getting in sync with your desires, okay? Now, the energy on the bottom of the deck, we'll go ahead and read that for you as well. We have the four of air. So it's about taking that time out. Four, four, okay? Um, that's a master number. Four is, like I just said, stability, okay? Fours are about stability, clarity, um, control of a situation, and maturation, maturing, okay? A situation is maturing. A situation is cultivating into something new. Um, this is a karma. This is... Um, 
protection. Okay, so four of air is like the four of swords. Um, three swords is usually about a loss, grief, heartache, pain, betrayal. The additional four is where you are taking time to heal, okay, from some type of pain, grief. Fours are about meditation. Fours are about um, reevaluating, okay? Trusting your higher self, gaining clarity, and letting your past pains turn into power, okay? Four of air, as we end your reading with this divine advice. Okay, four of air. Healing, meditation, rest, recuperation. It's time to rest my mind and allow peace to take the place of busyness and boredom. The mind needs quiet to think and find clarity. If I allow my mind to rest, I will have greater clarity and my mind will be sharper. This is a time for a break. I need to take care of myself, okay? So this is beautiful, beautiful energy. Right on the bottom of the deck here, we have the Empress, okay? So that does speaks of Venetian energy, okay? There you go, Libra, standing in your power, um, rebuilding, uh, balancing your feminine energies, Threes represent the empress, so that's all about balance, okay? Maybe freeing yourself from a third-party situation. Um, it definitely speaks of being creative, abundant, um, basking in the luxuries of your hard work and your efforts, um, allowing yourself to take pleasure. This speaks of definitely um, healing, taking that time to meditate, to take care of yourself so that you can be ready for these reunions, um, I see um, new homes, I see new partnerships, advancement in business, rekindling the magic of some type of connection, rebuilding a family. This speaks of nurturing and mental and emotional healing and balance, okay? Live your soul and not a role. Okay, Libra? That is your monthly intuitive energy reading. I hope that um, you were able to find some healing in the messages um, for you this month. If this reading resonated with you in any way, feel free to subscribe, um, make a comment, um, and um, know that there are always tough decisions, but no decision adds nothing to your growth. I love you guys so, so much. Even in this twilight of the darkest and coldest night of December, please remember that you will be fine. Nothing, nothing can stop what's truly divine. <laughs>